What's up? This is Richie and Jamie from the Where We Wild YouTube channel, and today we're on a mission to upgrade my fishing gear storage. It is a problem, it needs to be addressed, <laughs> and uh, we're outside of probably the biggest Ikea in the world. I don't know if it's the biggest one in the world, but we're in Burbank, California, at one of the biggest Ikeas in the world, and hopefully we can come up with some sort of solution. Mm -hmm. So come along for the ride. It should be a fun, interesting video. Let's go. Haven't been here in a while. I know. Just so you can understand what I'm dealing with here, let's go back and let me show you exactly what my fishing gear storage is right now. Alrighty. So, this is what I'm working with here. I got a bunch of reel boxes in this top drawer. As you can see, lots of them. In this drawer I have line, in this drawer I have like terminal tackle type stuff, hooks, that type of stuff. This drawer I got spinner baits and uh, some other stuff that got a little disorganized, little swim baits, stuff like that. In this drawer I got pretty much all my hard baits, jerk baits, jigs, chatter baits, crank baits, all that type of stuff, frogs. This drawer I got all my soft plastics and, and pencil boxes and you know, from there to there like it's it's been working out pretty good but you can see that like the frame of this like kind of bent you know just from the weight of everything and then down in here you know you can like barely open the drawer Ugh, swim baits stuff like that and then it just gets worse and worse the lower you get down more swim baits Ugh, really hard to open and close that and then all the way down at the bottom forget it it's uh a lot of uh, weights and hooks and more terminal tackle and stuff like that. So just the weight of everything, man, of all these uh, these plastic drawers, just it just kind of collapsed the whole frame. And, you know, I just got to figure out a way to uh, get something a little more sturdy. And then obviously I got the rod rack that I built over here, which has been awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of out of room. Which kind of sucks because I, I would definitely get more rods and reels if I had the room, but it's pretty awesome. So yeah, what to do, what to do. Let's see what Ikea has to offer. That might work for 80 bucks and then we can get like some drawers and stuff. All right, so I think we've come up with a little bit of a plan. We found this unit called a Besta and I think we're gonna be able to put a couple drawers in it, maybe like a shelf. And it's very similar to the dimensions that I need. It might be a little wide for it, but I think we can figure it out. Yeah. And I think it's like on sale too. I think it's like 80 bucks with like 20% off. And then we gotta get all the hardware and stuff like that. Have we lost our minds? Yeah. Ikea food? <laughs> 
so we've decided to take a little break, get a little food. Sorry it's so loud in here, but... This is weird. lunch and then we got to go figure out what the hell we're gonna actually pick out right yeah. we always we always lose our minds in the next area because we can never find anything so are you gonna be able to find it all i think so i took pictures all right let's grab a cart let's try not to go nuts we'll probably end up getting a couple little things also starting to lose our minds. It's uh, almost four o'clock in the afternoon. We've been here for a while. Yeah, I need coffee. We've been here for a really long time. So this is, well, get this, we're, we're yeah. in a good place. We just need drugs. We still got to so put this thing together and yeah. I feel like I've been here for 10 years. I know. We, we might have been. Little adventure. All right, let's finish up. This place is insanity though, isn't it? I just got dizzy. <laughs> so, you like those long ones? Yep. All right, can we at least Mostly get an ice cream cone? Yeah, that's why I like them, because uh, it's one step closer to an ice cream cone. Jesus. <laughs> I've been waiting all day for that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Yum. How are we gonna push the carts, though? That's a good point. Oh, we were in there too long, dude. Way too long. It is now 4.35. I don't even know if you can see that. And uh, we're still at Ikea, but we got everything. We spent too much money on this. I disagree. I think for the amount of money that we spend, it's a pretty good deal. It's not bad. It was like $280 for everything. I mean, for something that's gonna go outside, it's a little nuts. Like I was thinking, but you're right, it will last. It'll last, it's exactly what you want. Well, well, that remains to be seen, how everything's gonna fit in there. No, I know, but just- It's adjustable though, at least. If I don't right. like that big drawer, we can take that back and get a smaller one or whatever. You can do it. That's cool. Any so all right, so now we gotta load it up and go home and build it. So much for fishing tonight. Yeah. Gets dark out. It's been two hours. Yeah, it's great. And it's a hundred degrees out here, which is insane. It's October. I'm sure you can see those beautiful mountains behind me, though. It's really nice, but it's hot. October, ninety something degrees, easy. I can feel it burning my skin. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. Wild. Cali, that's Cali for you. All right, let's load this up. Go put this thing together after we have a cup of coffee. Yeah. All right. Well, good job. It's it's kind of stressful. I just it get, I get like a little nauseous, and then I get sensory overload. Yeah. 
I'm sweating. Man, we got the air cranked, cranked. It is, it says 98 degrees right now. What is it, the 7th? October 7th, 98 degrees. And it feels hotter than that. Yeah, it really does. It feels like August 104 type yeah. of weather. Six twenty in the evening. We are home. We had some coffee. We didn't eat dinner. No. But we are gonna try to put this thing together and uh, see what happens. Just so you know, we got the Besta. It's called. Jamie's got the frame right there. We got the shelves. Got some drawer hardware. Actual drawers. I've set up a time lapse. So I'm gonna put this camera down, let the other camera take over, and uh, yeah, we'll speed this process up a little bit and check in in a bit. In a Let's bit. go. We're gonna take a little break for dinner. We're making some progress. We got the uh, whole frame put together. We got the first drawer put together. And now we gotta figure out the actual brackets that go in there. Shouldn't be too, too hard. And then we have a few more drawers to put together. Not so bad, coming along. All right, back at it, kids. We're getting there. We're getting there. Come on, let's get it. from that stupid screwdriver and these dumb screws. My hand my wrist. Oh, so mm -hmm. All right, well, I can tell you're done. Done. Shot. It's been a long day. We've been up since like 6.30, 7 o'clock, 10.30 at night. It's a long day. We were at Ikea for like 10 hours, it felt like. <laughs> what was it, like four hours at least? Three days, yeah, no. Four or five hours? Yeah. That place is insane. It's so big, time just like. I know. It's exhausting and it's just kind of like sensory overload in there. Mm -hmm. So you feel like, I feel, I feel like it's two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so Like I'm hazy. Yeah. So get back at it in the morning, we'll get some rest. Mm -hmm. All right, see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we got to get going on this thing, man. I want to get it done as early as possible today. Yeah, next step, got to put the handles on the drawers, but I guess first things first, take all this stuff out of here. What a little project. That's insane. I got problem. A lot of stuff, man. This thing bent. You can see how warped it is. Drawer number one. Out of here. It's hot out, dude. It is hot out today. Friggin' October, 100 degrees. Insane. We gotta buy a house. We need something bigger. 
need something bigger than this. I need a, I need a house with enough room for all my gear and a garage for a boat, and I'll be I'll be just sound as a pound. Oh. It is a heavy drawer. A lot of weights, jig heads, hooks, Texas rigs, drop shots. Yeah, that's a little heavy. Last one, last plastic piece. So what I gotta do here is I gotta kind of map all this out and try to figure out where I want these handles to be. And then I just gotta try to get them center. Ikea sells this tool which like is just this little template here and it kind of helps once you find the center and then you can match up your holes. Yeah, that's about right, maybe the second hole. We'll see. So I gotta mark out all those, drill the holes out, and then get these things on. Jeez. All right, so I guess I'll uh, I'll check in when that happens. That's gonna be a little bit of a job. I'm gonna have to drill this stuff out. Right, here was nothing. Yeah. That tightens up perfect. Mm -hmm. You got no room left. Now, now you're in. Okay. So now you can go up. Okay. Woo. All right. Right there. All the drawer handles are on. That took a minute, and so now we just have to put the drawers into the unit, and we have to line up. We got a. We're gonna put a couple of shelves, extra shelves in there too, right? For stability? Yes. Yeah, on this Besta unit, you at least need two shelves in the middle to try to keep the frame supported. Um, it's but, so tall. Yeah, so it gets wobbly. So we got four, so we're gonna start one at the bottom after the first drawer, then skip one, then do two right where it says to use for stability, and then the other one's gonna be on top where it's gonna be wide open for me to put like whatever, real boxes or something, so. These handles look good, right? Yeah, they do. I like them. Yeah, they look good. Oh boy, this is nutty. I underestimated the size of this project. Yeah, I think we both did. <laughs> yeah, I thought this was going to be a one day, one day event. One day? I thought it was going to be an afternoon. Like, oh yeah, we'll get it together in an hour. Yeah, this, this looks good. All right.
All right, man, well, I think she's just about done. We got a little bit of uh, organization still left, but it's uh, looking pretty good. Got some spinner baits up there, crank baits. Got a bunch of terminal tackle and like fishing reel maintenance stuff. Fishing line. Got some swim baits and stuff like that in here, little ones. Next year I got all my hard baits. Pretty sweet crank baits, chatter baits, jerk baits, swim jigs, normal jigs. Next up I got soft plastics and I got everything in these pencil boxes here. And it's all like labeled, you know, Gary Yamamoto, Robo Worm, Z-Man, some miscellaneous stuff. I really, I really like these, these drawers. Sweet. Bunch of terminal tackle, stuff like that. And then I got a big deeper drawer down the bottom. And that's all my swim bait stuff, man. Bunker, Fab. Bait Sanity Gill, all that stuff, man. Huddlestons, Bait Sanity Explorers, Mag Drafts, all that type of stuff. It's pretty sweet, man. Pretty sweet. So, not bad, dude, for such a tiny little closet out here, I'll tell you. Got a lot of stuff in here, man. A lot of stuff. This looks pretty good. Not bad. Pretty sweet. All right, well, that took a lot longer than we anticipated. <laughs> yeah. That was a lot of work, man, but it came out really nice. Yeah, it looks great. Still a couple little tweaks here and there, like organization-wise, like what, what goes where, we gotta figure out, but everything looks good. Those soft post drawers are sweet, so way nice. better than the plastic drawers, that's for sure. And now you can open all of them. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's a the big, big deal. Yeah, those things were getting crushed. There's just a lot of weight there between all those swim baits and like weights and hooks yeah. and everything but i'm pretty pretty exhausted pretty, oh i'm beyond <laughs> i'm pretty shocked and it's 100 degrees out there I didn't today i think it was going to take as long as it did i know from how long we were in ikea to just building it last night yeah you know we had to get up and finish it this morning but whatever no it was fun no, it was i sweet. like doing stuff like that I with know, you, you like just... organizing stuff yeah. yeah i think we need a little bit of a nice dinner tonight and a nap All right, that wraps it up. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're into this sort of thing, don't forget to hit subscribe. We put a new video out every single week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Later. Good job, dude. Good job. Thanks for your help. Ow. Yeah, my hands are killing me. Oh, my back is smoked yeah, too. I'm done. Woo. If you want to see more videos just like this one, be sure to check out the rest of the Where We Wild YouTube channel, where we post a brand new video every week. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new adventure. Thanks for watching. See ya.